the video shows the use of customized virtual input output IP block for the verification of logic design using Xilinx Vivado. For this tutorial, I have considered the design of AND gate with two inputs. So let's start the design. First, create a new project. Click on next. This is the project 2 and the preferred design location. Click on next. Select the RTL project. Here you select the part name or from the family select the RTX which I am going to use this FPGA. From the package I am going to use FTG256 speed of minus 1 and the package has got this configuration that is 256 IO pins are there and it has lookup tables of 20,800 click on next this gives me the project summary that what I am going to use click finish First, create the design source, click on add source, add or create design sources, click on next, then click on create file. Let me write the design file name as end2, click on ok, finish. It asks to enter the port names, I want to design an AND gate with two inputs A and B and output is Y. Change the direction to output, click on OK and the module name is AND2. It is updating. Double click on this. Just pass the data flow model. Assign y is equal to a and b the design is completed click on save this time i am not going to use any test bench for the verification i am going to use the block level design by using the ip integrator once the design of AND gate is completed, click on create block design. Keep the design name as it is or if you want you can change it. Click OK. It gives me the block diagram view. Here you need to create the block level schematics. You can add the module that means we have created the module for AND gate the module can be brought in the form of a block diagram so right click click on add module it asks to choose the which type of a module you want since it is a RTL view it takes the module click OK this is the module which we have created for the AND gate with A, B inputs and Y. In order to verify this, you need virtual input output. So click on this, add IP or you can click on right click and add IP. Here you have a library of IP cores. From this, you select virtual input output block so this is used to test this logic gate here 
the end gate is having two inputs a b this virtual input should be changed in such way that these output will act as a input to the end gate and the output of end gate acts as a input so double click on this to change the configuration the output should be 2 and input should be 1 because we are going to connect this so change the output probe count to 2 click ok just make the connections and this output has to be connected to here design is completed and you can make this connection as virtual right click this clock and make it as external so based on this clock signal you are going to provide the inputs to the digital logic so my design is completed here you can verify the design so once this step of interfacing of vo to the end gate is completed click on validate the design whether the design is successful or not click on it the validation is successful click ok then you can click on regenerate the layout it has changed the layout view now once the design is completed go to the sources here we have this design in orange color right click on it click on create HDL wrapper it creates the very log view of this design this design it consists of view block as well as the end functions so let me click this as ok see the change design source has changed to wrapper with the dot v extension it is the verilog module to see the inner content just click on this or expand this what it has this design has an AND gauge this is the RTL view and VO block only two things are there you can just double click on this wrapper file to see what are the inputs only we have the clock as a signal if you see the logical diagram we have only the input as clock nothing else no other input and no other output for this so just close this once the design wrapper is completed you can directly go to the synthesis click on run synthesis click on ok it takes time for take completion of the synthesis so let me pause the video for this once the synthesis is completed click on open synthesize design It shows me the IO planning which is the IO ports here from the design you have only one input which is a clock click on this scalar ports and observe that you have only one signal which is a clock and you need to assign the package pin for this since I am using this FPGA which is a RTX 7 and the clock signal pin is given by N11 which is N11 
So I'm going to use that pin package. Assign this with N11. So this is the pin which is assigned for the clock. So you need to assign that pin package and change the IO standard to LVCMOS 33. Save this by using Ctrl S. Save the design and you can give any file name. Pins and gate. This is nothing but the design constraint file which we are assigning for this. Click on OK. And if you see the sources, you have the constraint file pin and gates. Double click on it to see the assignment of the pins. You can close this. Once the synthesis is completed and the pin assignment is done, you can go to the run implementation. Click on run implementation of the design. Click OK. Implementation also takes little bit of time. So I'll pause the video. So once the implementation is completed successfully, you can click on open implemented design. Click OK. Click S. It gives me the summary of reports like power and how the design is implemented onto the FPGA, its DRC, timing, so lot of information especially on chip power like device power is there, dynamic power and IO power, so lot of power information is given. So once the implementation is completed, you can click on generate bitstream click on this click ok so it is generating the bitstream Still it is generating the bitstream for the end gate that we have created by using the block design. For verification we are not going to write any test bench. So this will be the last step bitstream generation. So bitstream generation is completed successfully. You can just click on open hardware manager. Click OK. At this point of time, see that there is no target board connected. So you need to connect the FPGA board that we have using for this design. So I am using the Edge Arctic 7 FPGA development board. Now I am going to connect or interface it to the my la or laptop. I have just connected it. Once the FPGA is connected, click on open target and auto connect. It shows that the device is connected. The device is connected and it is not programmed. The device is not programmed. Then you have to click on 
program the device here or you can use from here just click on program device it will have two files debug process file as well as the bitstream file these two will be loaded into the fpga click on program now the status is the device is programmed and we have hardware virtual input output system this is where you can verify your design you can just click on this add probes and select the probes whatever we have provided that is two input output zero output one and input one so select these three signals click ok to add into this these values can be changed here the input is nothing but the output and the output acts as a input you can change the status select this and right click and the output is changed to led because why is the output low value you can keep it as red and green as high value change the colors and this can be toggle button that is providing input and output similarly this has a toggle button now for 0 0 and gate is 0 for 1 1 the output has changed to 1 which is a green again 0 the output changed to red in this manner you can verify the functionality even without writing the test bench